Hi, this is Susie Levin Tarot. We're on Gemini. Okay, and uh, I got several things. I got Romancing the Stone, right? Ooh, let me write that down. That might be the title. Okay, Romancing the Stone. Okay. Okay, and the impression I got was you want adventure and uh, fun and excitement. And maybe things have been a little lackluster in the love department and you want to spice it up. Okay, so are this is the stone you? I'm getting like, you know how when you find a rock and you put it in a machine and it, it uncovers the uh, gem that's within. So is that you? Or is that someone you have an eye on? Okay, so I got C and a gig. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so I'm getting C, so it could be a water sign. Could be earth, water or earth I'm getting right up off the bat here. Okay. And and then I'm getting Some of you are going to meet at some kind of gig. Okay, which is like a concert or something like that, a gathering, a big gathering. Okay. Some of you are musicians. Okay. Okay, so some of you want to expand on what you were doing from before. Okay, trying new things. I got jostling. What is that? Okay, that's for someone. Okay. And P-I-L. Oh, so that's a, uh, isn't that a punk rock band in, uh, from England? Okay, yeah. So I got punk rock. So doing something uniquely different is what I'm getting, right? That may not be uh, accepted by the masses, but doing something different. Okay, and then I got let, uh, let, so you might feel let down by someone, but it's saying let bygones be bygones. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Now for some of you, it's like I'm getting that jagged little pill from Alanis Morissette. Okay, that song. Okay, it's like... Your life maybe has been tough in some areas, and it's been a hard pill to swallow. Okay, so with that, I want to say, make sure you're taking time to uh, feel ease. Okay. A left note. What is that? Okay, I feel someone's going to have a kid here. Okay, what is that? Hold on a second. Okay, so G. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, okay, so I feel like some of you want to travel to Asia. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so some of you might be coming together with an Asian whether it's work or love. Okay, because this is a love reading. Okay, so I got Guam. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is a little uh, thing. My dad used to say Guam was like the mosquito capital or something like that to me. Okay, so that's coming up. And so you may feel like there's been some, some things bugging you. Okay, so it's like take your focus off of the mosquito and the bugs and focus on, okay, and then I got left here, right? So take the focus off of the mosquito and the bugs and focus on what is pleasing. Okay, so this could be like past life connection. 
Okay, so I feel like you've been playing pickup sticks. I got Pix, Pix, Pixie too. So that's fairies. Okay, let the fairies help you. <laughs> okay, so how do you let the fairies help you? Get happy, ho, 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 right? Okay, and um, you might go see the Taurus um, Scorpio reading. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, ho, 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 laugh more. Some of you have been on the road. Okay, moving around a lot. Okay. I don't know what this is. Road less traveled. Road less traveled. Okay, so you're heading in new territory. So there's nothing, no markers to go by. So you just have to kind of flow with the guidance from within. What is in your gut? G-U-T. Right? Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Tune. Tune in. All right. There's a gold mine here that you're about to uncover. So keep moving, and I feel like you're going to see victory in what you're doing. Ten. The ten energy. Okay, so for some reason I'm getting Sagittarius energy, so that would be your polar opposite energy. So if you can stay in neutral to positive on all things, I feel like you'll come into this victory quicker. Okay, and yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, now some of you um, have been uh, with a, a water sign. All right, some of you, that's an earth sign, okay. All right, so this came out for, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm not reading as a cardamancy, I'm reading it as imagery. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I feel like the lens you put on is the what you receive, but here's like a heart table. Everything is in hearts. Okay, so it's like at face value, it may seem like something else, but inside there is this love. And look, she's got all her cards out on the table. Okay, so is there something you're neglecting in love? Are you putting your career over love? Or was that something you did in the past? Okay. Okay, here's the water sign I was talking about showing up here. Okay. Or earth. And whatever you're doing, you're looking to the future. You've got your buns in the oven and you want to set sail to this new location. But this is also saying be present right where you are. There may be some magical moments here. And some of you are going to tie the knot. It's like uh, those of you who are single are going to get married. That's, a, that's what you see in the future. Some of you, this is sailor's knots, different kinds of sailor's knots. So it might be nautical miles. Okay. Moving with the tides and your emotions and navigating it to uh, 
your A game. You're moving in your A game even if you feel like you're not. I'm picking up like South Florida for some reason because I got this and then Miami Vice. Okay, so what uh, you see as a vice is helping you move to where you really want to be. But remembering to be present in the moment and enjoying those uh, moments in the now. Yeah, and so I'm getting like white linen. So I feel like you want to be in like that vibe that you get when you go to a tropical island. That's what I'm getting. And here is, looks like a, this, is that, it's like, is that sunglasses or is that, um, a schoolgirl outfit, right? So I feel like you've been schooled, going through the school of life. But remembering the good times, you got 10 energy here all together. That's what I get with those. So it's like 10th house and 10, 10, 10. Okay. Yeah, it's like, remember the vows that you made in the past for whoever's getting, got married, right? Remembering your vows, the commitments you made to each other, right? It's like, put on, it's been put on the back burner somewhere in the dark. Okay. So, remembering those vows you made to each other. This feels like that Scorpio thing. Six and a six of six of hearts and six of diamonds. Okay, so this is like getting bogged down with work and paperwork. That's what I'm getting. But remembering to uh, grab those moments of connection. Maybe it's not even grabbing. It's like just engaging. Okay, now what are these papers? Okay, so see, whatever this work stuff is, I feel like it's affecting your family uh, love connection or whatever. Okay, so. And I feel like if you're if you're a man and you're with a woman, they've been in their emotions a lot. So you've got it, and it's like, you don't understand the mysteries of the, the feminine energy. So by tapping into your own feminine divine, I feel like the connection will move smoother. Because here you've got a blank canvas and the potential to, look at this. Oh, it's the same, look. It's like, that's what I'm talking about. So some of you, it's like the Saturn energy affected your, this the karma, right, experience affected your love life. But there's still potential to bring it all in with this new slate here. All right. Now, whatever this is, stay neutral to positive, and it'll just flow right into this love game here. All right. Okay, because this person loves you. All right, so. All right. I thought I was doing a singles reading, but I feel like this is. <laughs> okay. It's like, hold on to from hope, faith, to knowing. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, see, three of hearts. Okay, so the three of hearts, the third entity, okay, is what I'm getting. You, your person, and that 
non-physical energy. That's the third party. Bringing that in will help you tap into this divine love that is you. Some of you, this is a Taurus. Okay. What else am I getting? Some of you felt like you were dancing with the devil in disguise. But I'm getting like, um, I'm getting uh, patina, right? So copper. So there may be some alchemy here with your physical apparatus. So it's like, what are you ingesting in thoughts, words, and actions? In your mind, in food stuff, what are you ingesting? Okay, so I feel like you can change the alchemy just by changing what you ingest. Okay, that's coming up. Copper. Okay, minerals. Getting the right minerals into your physical body. Okay. I feel like you're the jack of all trades here. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But just remembering to tap into those sweet moments that are available to you right now. Okay. Uh, we've got a match here. So what I'm getting is through dark times and bright times, um, your person is here for you. Okay, so, but remembering to really, oh, that's neat. See, I feel like if you take the steps to be the romance, romancing the stone. Oh, okay, so that could be like you or the other person that has been like putting, uh, it's a cool exterior on both sides. If someone would just take the steps to take that first step of initiating um, warmth. Okay, I feel like there could be something here. All right. Let's see what comes out of these. Oh, let's get a mind card since air sign, right? Okay, let's get this. Sigmund Freud Oracle. Let's see what comes out of that. Right, not letting your mind, your intellect get a hold of this love thing, right? Releasing the mind a little bit because I feel like there's mirror energy here. Okay, so I'm getting as above, so below. The voice of the intellect is a soft one, but it does not rest until it has gained a hearing. Right, so listen to the subtle energies. Okay, that's what I keep getting. All right. So if you have a divine idea, move with it. Take action steps and don't let your intellect um, overthink it. When you get that impulse, move. Listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Yes, trusting you is going to help me move in this new direction of love. I leave you with that. Thank you, Gemini.